Hello Arsenal fans and football fans. In this video I've got both versions of the Arsenal home shirt for the 22-23 season. This one here on the left is the Aero Ready version. The fan or stadium shirt and is called the Replica by Adidas. It is called the Replica because it is a replica of the authentic version which is the Heat Ready and is also called the player or match shirt. One of them is £80, the other is £110. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all the differences between these two versions. And by the end of this video, I promise you'll know which version is best for you. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the three, the, not the three stripes, the Adidas logo on the replica which you can see there is traditional stitching in a beautiful gold colour. So it shines, it's really nice looking, it looks real good quality. You can see the heat, the, the air already material also there. But then we go over to the authentic which is a heat applied rubberized transfer. There's no stitch in it, it's just heat applied, but you can see it has like a stitched effect. But look how beautiful that is, all the intricacies there. It looks like it's stitched, but it's actually not. But just look how much detail that is there. It's smoother, it looks cleaner. And then I'm going to show you the Arsenal Club badge. This is the replica. You can see it's stitched and embroidered. Beautiful shiny gold again. I'll, I'll add in a daytime shot to give you a better look of how shiny it is and how stitching looks but what a beautiful badge that is stitched on embroidered and then we go over to the authentic which is a heat applied transfer but as you can see there, it just looks so much cleaner. It's more intricate. Again, I'll do a daytime shot and I'll slot it in, but you can see the differences there, really. Beautiful looking badge. The sponsorship on both is pretty much the same. That's the authentic. And that is the replica. No real differences to note there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the collar. This is the replica. The collar that goes all the way around. It is slightly elastic. You can see it there. This is a size large. Both of the shirts are size large for review today. But you can see that there. And then we go over to the authentic, which is different. You've got the heat ready material on the back of the neck. You've got the slim fit, both are slim fit. But look at that. You can see that it's different, hopefully on the camera there. Little look at the tag there also. Okay, so next I'll show you the three stripes on the shoulder. Look how beautiful that gold shines with traditional stitching of each stripe. You can see the stitch in there. But 
goes all the way up. That gold really does shine. It's so nice. A long sleeve version in this would be amazing, I think. There's the Visit Rwanda sponsor. There's the cuff line with more gold trim. And then we go over to the authentic, which you can see there is a whole segment. It's not stitched on. Each one of those looks really clean. It's a better material. Again, I'll do a daytime shot and slot it in there, show you it a little bit better. But then we go into the collar, the cuffs, sorry. See the differences there between the two. That's the authentic. And that is the replica. It seems more fatter on the replica. It seems more puffed out, see that? But the authentic is just cleaner, nicer, in my opinion. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the Aero Ready material. You can see the Aero Ready badge there on the bottom. And there's the heat ready material there. And then we go into the white trim down the sides on the replica. Just a normal trim, which goes all the way down the bottom into the drop tail hem at the bottom. And then all the way up the top of that side. And that's the replica there. And then we transition straight over to the authentic. You can see the heat ready material is just amazing. Look at that. But of course, this is the heat ready. And then we get into this all important thing that which caused all that commotion, all that trouble. And no doubt cost Adidas a lot of money. But I'm going to go into the details of it now. You can see all those. See that dot? That's where it starts. So if we run downwards. We go all the way down. And we stop there. There's the dot. So what happened was Adidas. There's 38 matches. The Invincibles. This is an Invincibles throwback shirt. Or commemorative anniversary shirt. And it commemorates the 26 wins and the 12 draws of the 2002-2003 season. But what Adidas did when they first released this shirt, they didn't put enough wins and draws down. That's what that caused the huge delay for the authentic shirt. They only put 32 results down the side rather than the full 38. So there were six missing. That's what caused the huge delay. So of course I don't at this moment I don't know if the fakers have caught on to this and they've put in that many results on. But if you count from the dots, where's the dot? Can we find the dot? There's the dot. Oh hang on, there we go. So if you count from that dot all the way up, you should have 38 and not 36. 32, sorry. So just make sure you've got 38 guys. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna flip these over and show you the back. Okay, so this is the back. There's no much real differences, but except for the underarm segment. So this is the replica. You can see it's perforated, it's breathable on the underarm, which goes into the sleeve there. And then if we transition into the authentic, you can see there's just more, much more perforation on the underarm segment. So that's the authentic. 
and that is the replica and of course the the Invincibles record runs all the way down the drop tail on the back there's the dot so from there you see all those and not a single loss all the way up to there so we've got to be 38 there in between those dots okay so this little bit on the back of the neck this is the authentic version AFC and the little lightning strike type motif and then the replica it is slightly different but not much to shout about really it just seems slightly better on the authentic so that's again that's the replica and that is the authentic hopefully it shows on the camera there and don't forget to let me know which name and number you would have on the back of this shirt. Who's your favourite player? Always love to know your favourite players and what number you have on the back. And I'm going to flip these over for one more final look. Okay, so my final thoughts on this Arsenal shirt. If I have to be completely honest, I think Adidas have got a soft spot for Arsenal because they always give them the best shirts. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But that's just my opinion. I think the gold trim, the gold look of the whole, you know, it doesn't matter which version you get. I think the, the gold's actually shinier on the replica. But it's such a nice shirt. It's a beautiful home shirt. It's a shame about the problems that Adidas had at the beginning. But hopefully this video has helped you out in choosing which version is best for you. Also, don't forget to let me know if you are Team Replica or if you are Team Authentic. Let me know, guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more, watch all the other videos that are going to be popping up right about now, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.